Today, in my birthplace of Dundestan, Abaco, in the Bahamas, it's the 1st of February, 2022, a month for lovers <laughs> and those who believe that they're in love. To be in love is to have your partner to love and appreciate you as much as you love her. Everybody saw my video, it's been, today makes six months since the Progressive Liberal Party has been the government party. And I keep asking and saying in my videos, it's a record that the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas have not visited Abaco the first week after they've been elected to give thanks to the people that supported the Progressive Liberal Party. But yesterday was a um, little, little um, embarrassing, um, it should be embarrassing, that for five months the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas just came in and just a select few, about 10 people, uh, new. Um, you all saw me send the photos out. Um, somebody sent them to me, I just sent them out. I didn't know he was here until he was back in Grand Bahama. <laughs> but I just want um, Kirk Cornish, my member of parliament for North Abaco, John Pinder, the member of parliament for South and Central Abaco, to know that there's some people uh, that supported this government besides the select few. You see, Kai went to the poll, and because Kai didn't take the bribe, and he stood, because I have an integrity, uh, Kirk Cornish and John Pinder became the member of parliament. By y'all bringing the prime minister, whatever reason the prime minister was coming, it was the most secretive deal since Watergate that Kai Mills had over 700 person that supported him. Um, Darren Henfield had over 1,000 people that supported him. Kirk Cornish had over 1,000 people that supported him in the last election. All these people would have liked to have an opportunity if they can speak with the Prime Minister to have known that he was here because the Prime Minister is not a, the Prime Minister for John Pinder, Kirk Cornish, Darren Henfield, Kai Mills. Philip Davis is the Prime Minister for all of us, not the select few that brought him in early morning and ushed him out. And the interesting thing about it, Abaco, that was waiting for five months, read, read the date, this is a day later, don't know why the Prime Minister was in. Did he discuss the issues concerning Abaco? What about the hurricane restoration? What about the what money? What about the Bakers Bay money? Why did the five little cottages in Central Pines across from Caps, why did they stop? All these questions that somebody that's not looking for a contract like Fire Noble and Cecil Ingram that sold Dundestan to Brent Simonet, all they could beg for is to have Brave Davis have Big Cat to repair the wall and understand that Brent Simonet promised that he would do before he started to make a car garage or to understand. But Brent Simonet 
was supposed to fix the little wall, small little wall, but all they could do is go to the prime minister and beg for contract for Big Cat. These are not the people that you need to speak on behalf of the residents of North Abaco. I will tell you right now, the morale, the morale in Abaco today, if election was called today, tomorrow, Kirk Cornish and John Pinder would be ex members of parliament. You imagine, I just came from the Green Thiller Key Dock, I, I did a video on that. Kirk Cornish is in the Prime Minister's office. Farron and Cecil is begging Brave Davis to give Big Cat a contract to fix the wall in Dundestan. What did Kirk Cornish ask for? Did he ask for the bathroom to be fixed in Green Hill Key? Did he ask for the voyages from Kipco all the way down to Treshki for the voyages to be um, manicure on the side of the street? No. One thing he should have been asking for is why they put them um, poles inches from a highway when they had sufficient room to move them off the highway. At night, it seems like those poles are right in the road. And behold, if anybody heard that their loved ones run into one of those poles on the road to Treasure Key, call the funeral home and start to make arrangements for funeral because you can't survive if you hit those iron poles that are inches from the highway. This is the only way in the, this is the only country that this has happened. But I try not to be too long on my videos, but so much literature. Um, but it is an embarrassment that the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas came into Abaco on the 31st, the last day of the uh, month of January, after five months of being the Prime Minister, and nobody knew about this, knew that the Prime Minister was coming. Um, maybe tonight they will put it on the news, what was the occasion? And he said it was an official visit. How could it be an official visit? And only Fire Noble and Cecil Ingram and the select few knew that the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas was making an official visit to Abaco. If it was an official visit, it should have been publicized and we should have known why he was here and what was accomplished immediately after he left on this official visit. Um, but the jury is still out. We are yet to know. And it doesn't seem to be an official visit if only 10 people knows about the official visit. But I want to ask John Pinder, the member of parliament for South and Central, and Kurt Cornish, the member of parliament that sits in the prime minister's office, if he lets him with a call today or tomorrow, the persons that knew the prime minister was coming to Abaco, could those select 10 return you back to the host assembly? That's what you gotta think about when you all study in skullduggery and think that this prime minister only belongs to a select few. Philip Davis is the prime minister for all Bohemians, not a select few of PLP that only looking for contracts and making sure that they're good. There's a lot of people that are still in good and they wanted to hear from the prime minister. All these boards, these urban renewal, uh, DRA, 
when are they going to be up and running? Because today is the sixth month and nothing is happening but a bunch of touring. Enough of the touring. It is time for decision making for we to know that this is truly a new day. So far in Abaco, it's like an eclipse. It is bleak. The day is not new. It's not bright, shiny. It's like an eclipse. It's foggy. You can't see. You don't know what's going on. And there's no leadership in Abaco. Let us, please, at least, especially Kai Mills, let me know when I can say that it's truly a new day. It's a sad day when the Prime Minister can come in and only a select few know. It's one of these Kai Care video trying to educate the D average on how they should be responsible in their leadership. Kai Kiss.